Hey, how's it going everyone? My name is Dustin. I'm a PHP MySQL programmer. Today I'm going to show you how to use a for loop. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to increment a variable i from 0, and we're going to do it to 30. Then we're going to do, and it's going to count from 0 to 100. Then it's going to count from 0 to 1000. Uh, but before I do that, I want to show you just how tedious it was before PHP existed. I'm going to type out 0 through 30. and just show you how long it, like it would normally take a person to do it. And this might be a little faster or slower. I mean, just depending on how much you use the computer um, and how you type, or how fast you type. I'm sorry. So we got zero through thirty. We save it. We check out our page, and we have zero through thirty. Um, I typed it out vertically on in my Notepad, but since there's no HTML, it by default in our web page is going to display horizontally. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through here, I'm going to delete all of this, and I'm going to start coding in PHP. I'm going to open PHP, I'm going to close PHP. I'm going to set my max number variable, and what the cache sign does with the max number, that is our variable, and the max number is going to be 30. And we're going to end it with our semicolon. We're going to open up our for loop, and basic syntax is for our variable i. I told you we were going to start from 0, and we're going to count to 30. To 100 and 1,000, so it's going to set it to zero. Now, what this is, 4i is less than or equal to our max number. Then we got to increment our variable i at the end of it. All right. And then we open our for loop, and this right here closes the for loop. This right here is just a comment. You, when you code out. Uh, code your functions or just code in PHP in general. I consider it a good practice to uh, note in comment tags like what each thing does. Otherwise, when you go back after you're coding something, you're going to have to use some fresh eyes. And what better way to use fresh eyes than to read what each code does or each piece, each bit of code does? So uh, we have our for, for loop. Now we just need to echo out our variable. Our variable is i. All right. Now it's going to display it on the page on our page. When I refresh it, notice it didn't have our spacing because we haven't used any HTML. So we go back in and we concatenate our HTML in. We do a concatenation by using the period sign, and then double quotes or single or yeah, double quotes is fine. Now we use our spacebar. Uh, HTML tag MBSP. All right, so it has zero through thirty. Now, it has zero through thirty. We can do zero through one hundred, but since one hundred is a long ways to count, and it's just going to print out sideways, I'll have to scroll sideways. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and put everything on a different line using HTML tag BR. Now we're going to do one hundred. Zero through one hundred, right there. Check it out. Bam. Now a thousand. Oop. Let's check out zero through a thousand. Zero through a thousand. There you have it. Um, thank you all for tuning into this tutorial. Hope you can use it with your PHP practices that you're working on. Uh, tune in next time. I'm going to show you how to do for each loops using PHP. Thank you.